Hey, I think I didn't actually record this earlier, so um, I'm sorry, but I went ahead and pulled the rest of the cards, and um, anyway, it just wasn't recording, but I want to give you the rest of the reading, because I had to stop and pick up a phone call from the vet. So I'll angle the card, the, um, the, uh, the, what is it? This is the screen, hello, down so you can see the rest of them. So we originally got the World card, and then the Seven of Pentacles card came up, and then the Hierophant card came up. Um, the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. She's come up in a lot of my readings this week. And then I pulled from the Butterfly Oracle card deck and I got Parental Care. And from the Archangel Raphael deck, we got Avoid Allergens. So with the Seven of Cups um, coming out with the world, um, essentially, I wish I had recorded the rest of that because I feel like I had a lot of good things to say, but it was kind of long, so I guess we'll work with the shorter version. No worries. Um, the Seven of Pentacles coming out on the world is, again, like we're, we're trying to make good choices here and in order to create the kind of world that we want. We know that we have a tremendous amount of power, right? Here's the Hierophant card coming up. We do have a tremendous amount of power. And, you know, the bull in the world card really caught my eye when this first came out. And that also goes back to this card of Taurus, which is the Hierophant is the card of Taurus. It's, you know... Not technically. I mean, you, it can be a card of many things, but it's the fifth card in the Major Arcana. And May is the fifth month. So the Hierophant card, you know, is about, like, whatever choices that we make in order to create the world that we want, we're taking our time to do it. That's one of the, one of the things about the sign of Taurus. And that's, um, you know, it's not a sign that makes decisions lightly. Tauran, Taurians are notorious for their stubbornness and slow moving and deliberation but they always you know they tend they, they're they're very also you know for for all that, that stubbornness um that's because they generally are very very value focused and so they're not going to just you know they're not going to you know just buy the cheapest quickest thing off the, the um the shelf they're going to definitely take a time making those choices. And so the, the, the central card of this reading is the Seven of Pentacles card. And then of course we have the Queen of Pentacles that came up at the bottom of the deck. And also the moon. I'm going to go ahead and bring the moon in. Um, the sun was in reverse. But um, you know, so again, this is like taking your time and really considering not just what's on the surface, but definitely what's underneath the surface. And this is def a card of, because it is the Seven of, of Cups card, and it's not the Seven of Swords, which is all about thought. It's not the Seven of Wands, which is about like, you know, conflict of passions, like, you know, you're kind of grappling with those. Um, it's not the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card of planting seeds and, and really working in the material world. It's manifesting from a place of heart. And um, have a good night and um, manifesting from a place where you're actually listening to your heart and you're looking, you're looking to spirit, you're looking for, to the divine for guidance, you know, whatever that means for you, what, some higher power than you, and that higher power comes in in the Hierophant. So whatever you do choose is going to be divinely ordained and it is going to be something that will move forward. Now, if that scares you because you're like, oh my God, you know, yeah, yeah, there, there is this kind of urgency to, there is this call, I should say, not urgency because I would, Kind of go against being deliberate about your your choices there is a call a very strong sense of making decisions that really are in your best interest that are in alignment with your higher self and those decisions are not just manifesting in some like you know, far away land, they're actually manifesting in the here and now and very, very solid because you have, this is a solid card. Taurus is an earth sign. So is this, the pentacles are all about earth and what's happening on the earthly plane. Again, it's in the here and now. And these are also very, you've got the red card coming up here and you also had the red that came up in the um, Archangel Raphael card. And in the, in these red cards, you know, this is about the root chakra. These are what are, are what is, you know, we are, we are asking our heart, but we're also like looking to make the kinds of decisions that make us feel solid and good about, you know, and, and we will feel solid and good about our decisions and they are divinely ordained. They are divinely ordained. This is divine sponsorship. And we ask our higher self, we ask wisdom, we ask, um, our, we listen, we even bring, we take the time and we do listen to our subconscious. The moon is all about the heart. This is the card of Cancer, heart of Pisces. Um, it is listening to these, 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 you know, you're bringing, we're, we're hearing. If you can listen, 
to what we're being told. If you can open your ears and hear and stop resisting and let in some new ideas, because you got a lot of choices, you will make the right one. But that's only if you do a couple of things that you are listening. So this is parental care came up as the butterfly, the card of transformation. These are life change cards. Yeah, yeah, we're all going through lots of life changes. But in this parental care card, you're definitely taking care of yourself. You're listening to yourself. You're listening to your inner child. You're taking care of your inner child. And if your childhood, when I say that, brings up not awesome ideas, and negative connotations because we all didn't have fabulous childhoods. This is your opportunity to create a world that would have been awesome for your child. Like where, you know, you could just hang out and play around naked with your wands in your like, you know, blanket. You could be like Linus, right? This is like Linus in the in, uh, in uh, Charlie Brown, right? So you can be, you know, be in charge of yourself in order to create the kind of world that you want because when you're listening to your inner child and you're taking leadership and you're really taking care of yourself, you're creating the world and you are working well established. You are working in a way that is creating the world that you want in a very solid, concrete way that's lasting. That's the, card, that's the Hierophant card as well. This is the, um, the color here, the yellow is also really strong and it also comes back in to the, the, um, the, the solar plexus chakra. She's got that coin right at her solar plexus. This is willpower. This is being in leadership of yourself in a way that takes care of yourself to create a single focus. What do you want to focus on? You will learn that. You will pick that out. And it will be divinely ordained. And you're going to be good with that. But it's all about harnessing your self-discipline in order to do that. No one else is going to do this for you. If you can't take care of yourself, no one gives a shit. They're not going to take care of you. Not for long. Not in any sustainable or real way. It's just going to be in some weird co codependent way, which in parental care, you know, you, you did it as beautiful as it is to take care of our parents, there is the danger of running into caregiver fatigue. How can you do this in a very, very sustainable way, in a very sustainable, long-term way? Start with taking care of yourself, like really hearing your own needs and fulfilling your needs in a way that makes sense. Listen to the divine. Listen to your heart, your emotions. The card of cups is about emotions. It's like listening to the heart, listening to the divine. And he's definitely looking to the sky, right? So avoid allergens. And so part of this is, yeah, you know what? you got to take off... You, Whatever you're obsessing on that, that you need to do to get you by, whatever you're hanging your hat on, whatever you can't quite get enough of, check, check on that. It doesn't have to be a drug. It doesn't have to be a drink. It can be a person. It can be any habit or thought pattern that you're, that's, that, that's running a racket on you that's keeping you from hearing what it is that you do truly need, what you do need to remove yourself from enough to quiet and hear your hearts, your actual true desires, that your real needs. Talk to Archangel Raphael, he's non-denominational. He's not just for one person or one religion He's not in a box. Angels don't go in boxes. Their wings don't fit. <laughs> Ask Archangel Raphael. Please assist me in identifying and avoiding allergens that may be toxic to my health and happiness. Start, just start by limiting your exposure to whatever you're hearing, whatever people you're around that kind of actually create more noise or create a sense of anesthesia. Where are you numbing out? numbing out so much that your root chakra is either overrunning things, your sense of safety, you're running your fear, you're letting fear run you. Like this, this horse looks a little, this, this looks like a very intense unicorn, I gotta tell ya. And although he's getting a breath of fresh air, like where can you go to give yourself a breath of fresh air? 
Maybe you got to take, I mean, the, I, I, honestly, I don't see that, that, that cloak on him as being a, an, an addition. I think it's more of a, a deterrent. Like what fears are running you? Maybe you're addicted to fear rather than love. How can you take care of yourself and love yourself? Harness, marshal your strength, your willpower to find a single focus that is really your true abundance. And the key, the keys, is those keys at the bottom to your world. You'll make the right choice, though, if you can only clear your ears and listen. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks a lot. This is part two. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow.